Well, it's always an important question how much of a role luck plays in startups or entrepreneurial success. And, uh, and I think we're always a little bit too fast to say that it's all a matter of luck. As a venture capitalist, when I invest in these companies, when I've had high levels of conviction on companies, those have always been good investments. And when I thought to myself, I don't really know if this is going to work, I'll just invest a somewhat smaller amount. That line of thinking has almost always, those almost always fail. When I think of things as being like a lottery ticket, that's often an excuse for not thinking hard enough about what's really going on. I'm not saying there's no role for chance or luck in our, in our universe. Um, I am saying that uh, we, should, we shouldn't use it as an excuse to stop thinking when we can actually be thinking a lot harder about things. At PayPal in March 2001, we did this discounted cash flow analysis. We concluded that three quarters of the value of PayPal came from profits in years 2011 and beyond. But you have to somehow think about the distant future because that's where most of the value exists. And if you, if you say that it's just hazily uncertain and fundamentally unknowable, then you're sort of saying that most of the value of your company is, uh, is, is completely, you have no handle on it at all. And that seems like a very odd thing. Having a plan, thinking about the future is I think always better than, uh, than not doing it. When I, when I learned to play chess in junior high school, one of the lessons was that uh, a bad plan is still better than no plan at all. And I, th I don't think everything in chess carries over to life, but I think that's, that's one idea that definitely carries over.